Index card of day number 43, Be Kind, a Creative Katie, Karen Birchell. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. So this time I'm starting with the gesso card and I decide that I am going to use this lovely background stamp that I got from my good friend Yvonne. Actually, I have it over the summer and I'm just stamping randomly on the background and I'm using my blue paints now with the uh, felt applicators I am applying three colors of the Dilutions paints in the green teal and the midnight blue I believe it's called it's one of the newest colors my plan is to put a flower on this and so this is kind of this the sky. So I'm just blending a little bit on there. Edging it a little bit with the darkest blue and as it dries adding another layer getting it a little bit darker. You do need to dry it in between layers if you want to get build up color and build up depth. So then using the same stamp I am putting the paint on to the stamp with the applicator and just stamping the green on the blue and the blue on the green just get some more interest I just kind of want the swirls in the background so here you see me cleaning off the felt applicators and I spray water onto the felt piece onto the foam piece and I am putting it onto um, cupcake holders liners and stuff so just putting that there so that'll be used for another project so you can see the different depth the ones this one the color that I had stamped one the one that I stamped with ink is a little bit further and you can get some a little bit closer so I'm grabbing some deli papers and I am going to try <coughs> a technique that I saw Kat Han do in her mixed media morsels and that was making pretty posies so she just ripped circles out of papers that had paint on them. Here I'm using jelly prints. Um, she used some of her other papers and just putting up layers of them. Now the idea isn't to be perfect. What I found is I liked how the jelly prints that I had done on deli paper worked. It was kind of that got that tissuey paper kind of flower look which I found really appealed to me. So that's on the left and on the right is one that's just on regular paper. So you can mix and match the colors and that's what Cat Hand did, but I um, I prefer having it all kind of one color in there. But again, whatever you want to do. I mean, it's all a matter of personal choice. There is no right or wrong. So I had done others with tissue paper earlier when I was trying this out. And I think I'm going to go with the pink one because of the background. Now, when I'm making them, I made three different sizes of flowers. Some have more layers, some have less layers, and um, some are distinctly smaller. So I just wanted a variety of sizes. And three is always seems to be a good number. They always say you should have odd numbers, three, five, seven. So that's what I have here in a minute anyways. So I'm just showing that I throw those uh, pads, the blending tool pads, in the water to get the rest of the dilutions paint out to keep them in good condition. So I'm just placing them and ruffling them up and I'm just really crumpling up this, the deli paper. I want the flowers to have more texture and more interest. So with a pencil, I'm just drawing where I think the stems are going to be now that I like where the flowers are and just putting that on with first the pencil and once I like it I'm putting it on with my Stabilo All Pencil and then painting it on with green acrylic paint and the black of the Stabilo Pencil activates when I put the acrylic paint on and so it kind of shades it right on right in front of you with a very little effort on your part And now I'm just painting some freeform leaves. I like how the pink of the flowers 
looks against this. Now there is some gold that was part of the jelly print and I really, really like that. I did think that afterwards I could have taken some gold on a sponge on, a, on an applicator and just kind of did all the edges of the flowers just to add a little bit more bling. So I'm putting on each layer one by one with a dollop of gel medium in there. This could, I, if, this could have been a place to use um, pop dots and then you would end up having more of a 3D effect. So there's lots, again, lots of alternative ways that you can do this. All depends on what you like. I don't want the petals of, of all the flowers to be glued down. So just the centers of them are glued down. Everything else I can fluff up if I want to, to give more of a 3D effect. So I'm trying out some black um, jelly print that I have, putting a little bit of black in the center. And I, um, I decide that that isn't what I want to do. Just painting a little bit more dark green on the bottom to represent grass or the ground. It just seemed like the flowers were floating a little bit and, and I just wanted to give them some weight. So I'm looking at all my sentiment stamps that I have and this one is from Hot Off the Press. It has a good variety of, of stamps. I use, I've used a lot of them and I'm just stamping it out on the ink and I'm stamping Be Kind. It just comes to mind, Be Kind. You never know what other people are um, carrying with them. Um, so just be kind to other people. I'm fluffing it up and now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking something is missing here. And I'm adding some, first I try to do black and then I decide, nope, this needs some pop of white. It's a little dark, so I'm just going to brighten it a little bit with the white. And once I do that, I decide that I have to go over the sentiment stamp with the white Uniball Signal as well. decide that I need some white splashes as well to brighten it up and it just kind of makes it pop and I go in there and I touch up any of the splotches that are too big and I put more paint on them you can always correct the mistakes or things that happened touching up the leaves and there finally yes as I promised you I'm going over the letters in white just so they stand up And I do go in and I'm touching it with the um, Stabilo All Pencil and activating it just to make the centers a little bit dark. Thank you very much for joining me on my iCAD 2016 journey. See you for the next iCAD.